So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it and as always, it's very much appreciated. Now the stories I wanted to cover today includes the return of Uncharted, which I'm ex very excited for, a new PlayStation 5 title hitting 4K 90fps as part of its update, and uh, going over my highlights for the Game Awards from last night, there was a ton revealed, a lot of good PlayStation 5 stuff. First, what would you rate the Game Awards from 1 to 10? I would personally put it at a 7 for the overall show, but Jeff can uh, but if Jeff condensed the show, it could have been a 9 with all the reveals they had because there was some good stuff there. 4 hours is just way too long for any show. You can take out the first 30 minutes of waiting, and 3 hours and 30 minutes is the whole thing, which is about the same as last year, and that's just too long. But <laughs> still, a lot of great reveals. Of course, that's just me. What about you guys? So comment below from 1 to 10. What is your rating for the Game Awards 2022? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, the Game Awards 2022. Again, it was a long show, but I have a good chunk of highlights from the show to go over with you guys. Thanks to those that tuned in to the live stream yesterday with me. I know I haven't streamed since a year ago, so I don't really have a base of you guys uh, that watch my streams often. So I appreciate those that uh, churned up and tuned into the show with me you guys made uh the night that much better now getting into the highlights first up is hellboy a web of Yeard, weird i think that's how you say it it's a roguelike action adventure game with a great uh with a great art style setup which can be said for a lot of the indies shown last night it's in development for current gen and last gen consoles and pc uh we don't have a release date for that just yet next up is relics hunter legion uh, which is a free-to-play online shooter RPG. I personally uh, really also love the art style here, but along with the gameplay mechanics, I'm a sucker for top-down co-op twin-stick shooters, and this looks right up my alley for that. I'm just worried about the free-to-play part, which is interesting. They don't mention it in the video on YouTube, but they mention it on the site, so I'm not sure if that's a something they might change that it's free to play uh, you can sign up for the closed beta now on steam only uh, i'll have that linked below next up we have replaced which i know is an xbox only title but i believe it's a timed exclusive or i hope it's a timed exclusive so i assume if that's the case like other timed exclusives for xbox it's probably going to land on playstation six months later uh, the art style combat and world building all look uh, really great here uh, it comes out sometime in 2023 on xbox game pass and pc uh, Judas is next up on the list, which looks like a new Bioshock, honestly, and that makes sense because it comes from the creator of uh, Bioshock, Ken Levine, uh, with his new studio, Ghost Story Games. I'm surprised by how little uh, people have talked about this game because it looks it looks really good. So I wanted to give it some shine here in my little space on the internet. Uh, there's no release date on this, but it's coming to PS5 and is a current gen and PC only game. Next up is Forspoken, which got a demo, a live demo that's out right now. You can go download it on PlayStation 5. The demo came out last night. I'm excited to play it uh, later today after work and finally try this game out for myself because, as I've said multiple times, the gameplay looks really good for this game. Death Stranding 2 was finally announced last night after uh, Kojima teased everyone for a while now on this and us hearing reports about it for a while now as well. It's official, it's real, it's happening, the trailer looks beautiful, but I was sitting there wondering why Sam got older and Fragile got younger. If you've played the first game, you know what happened to Fragile, so something obviously changed, I guess, or maybe I'm forgetting a part of the story, uh, I, and I'm curious to see what happened to Norman Reedus' character of course, Sam Porter Bridges. Seeing Fragile the way she was, it almost looked like a prequel until you saw her with Sam, of course. Then you realize this is the sequel. It plays on the narrative of should we have connected, which is what we did in the original game. I was curious to see where they would take the story. So this is interesting. No release date yet, and it's a PlayStation 5 only game. Moving on from that, we have Immortals of Avium, which is a single-player first-person magic shooter. I don't think I've heard another uh, game classify themselves as a first-person magic shooter, which I guess something like Bioshock, that's that's what it is. Uh, but the trailer looked great. It's an Unreal Engine 5 game coming out in 2023 for current-gen and PC only. 
Next up, we have Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores DLC dropping on April 9th, 2023. And it looks so good that I kept talking about it throughout the night. I just kept talking about it because of just how much Horizon we'll get, we're getting next year and how great it looked. It's a PS5 only game. It's not coming to PS4 uh, because according to Guerrilla Games, the stuff they wanted to achieve with this is not possible on PlayStation 4. And I love to hear that. Finally, a PlayStation 5 only Horizon game and we're getting it not not long from now it's so crazy next year we have horizon call of the mountain which also got a trailer at the game awards last night we're getting that in february and then burning shores in april i don't think i've seen another franchise with two games coming out in one year let it alone let alone two months apart i'm very excited moving on from that we have banishers ghosts of eden uh, an action RPG coming to current gen and PC at the end of 2023. The little snippet of gameplay we got at the end of the trailer looked interesting. I'm curious to see more from this one. Next up, we have Warhammer uh, Space Marine 2. It, the original launched in the PlayStation 3 360 era, and it was a fun game from what I remember. The trailer we got here at the Game Awards looked amazing, and it was a gameplay trailer, a full gameplay trailer, so that's a big plus. The first game is not playable on anything but the PlayStation 3 uh, 360 and PC, so I hope they remaster this. Uh, uh, for PlayStation 5 and Series X before uh, Space Marine 2 comes out, which is in sometime in 2023. Uh, again, for current gen and PC only. Moving on from that, we have Remnant 2, which is a sequel to uh, Remnant from the Ashes. I couldn't get into the first game, uh, but the sequel looks very interesting from the new trailer. It looks interesting from the new trailer. Maybe I'll give the original uh, another try with friends since it's a co-op franchise. I'm a fan of co-op games. Uh, the sequel is also co-op, of course. Remnant 2 drops in 2023 for current gen and PC only. Next up, we have uh, Lords of the Fallen, which I guess is actually Lords of the Fallen 2 from following the story here. Uh, the first one came out in 2014. I don't remember it being good. I think I tried it out. Uh, but the more I see from the sequel, uh, or maybe I guess soft reboot, the more I'm interested. It's a current gen and PC only game uh, dropping in 2023. Moving on from there, we have Crime Boss, which when I first saw the trailer, essentially looked like GTA Vice City for a current gen, but it's not made by Rockstar. I like seeing other companies take on the GTA open world uh, style game. You don't see that really happen often uh, anymore. We don't have a new Mafia or a Saints Row. And even those games, they, they can't take on GTA, but I want to see more of that. I will say this game is labeled as a first-person shooter heist game, so it could just be like a, a payday game maybe i personally hope not i hope it's an open world game but it, it's probably like payday uh but it still looked great from what i saw the game has an all-star cast dropping for current gen and pc only on march 28th 2023 i hope we get some gameplay for it soon and finally we have armored core 6 from from software which was probably one of the biggest announcements from last night i don't really have much to add to this the trailer looks great and it drops sometime in 2023 and those are the highlights for me from the Game Awards last night. Uh, let me know if you have any of your own or if any of these are on your list. Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the second story of the video, 4K at 90fps. Reading from IGN, enhanced versions of Moss and Moss Book 2 will launch alongside the PlayStation VR 2 when it releases on February 22nd next year, according to a new blog post on the company's website. The update details how the Moss developer Polyarc has worked to make the most of the upgraded abilities of the PlayStation VR 2 to remove some of the constraints placed on the series by its predecessor's hardware. Both games will run at 4K at 90fps and will feature graphical upgrades including lighting and texture improvements and will make use of foveated rendering to reduce overall demand on the system. So I never played the original Moss on PSVR or the sequel on PSVR, but I'm curious to check this out at some point on PlayStation VR 2. Seeing that it hits the 90 FPS range at 4K is of course great to hear. Foveated rendering is about to allow a lot of games run at that 4K resolution with of course a necessary higher FPS count for VR. Moss Book 2 drops on PlayStation VR 2 to uh, 
on on PlayStation VR 2 launch day next year. Uh, there's so much coming out in 2023. I'm going to be super broke, especially for the first few months of the year. <laughs> and now diving into the final story of the video, the return of Uncharted. Reading from Insider Gaming, a new report from the leak.co suggests that the Uncharted series has been greenlit for a reboot, but won't be developed by Naughty Dog. According to the leak, the series will be handed over to an unknown developer, but Naughty Dog is expected to initially assist the new team. The leak has a generally good track record when it comes to reporting leaks across a number of industries, and although Insider Gaming was unable to corroborate the report, we have heard rumblings of something to do with Uncharted, the Uncharted series in the past, but once again, could not corroborate this report. So, we've heard that this might be the visual arts team over at so Sony that's working on this. Uh, it's a new internal studio over there at the Sony Visual Arts team. Uh, this team was originally going to make uh, an Uncharted 1 remake, but that was scrapped for the Last of Us remake, which then was taken over by Naughty Dog, and we got that in September this year. It looks like Uncharted is not getting a remake but it's actually getting a reboot so this is a reboot of the franchise maybe a soft reboot i personally hope it's a retelling of the nathan drake story like what modern warfare 2019 did to the modern warfare modern warfare series i don't personally know how much i'd like a story without nathan drake so let's see on that but you guys let me know if you're down for more uncharted or not let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps me subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is to body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with bring on the weekend the weekend's finally here uh i'm exhausted i want to play some games i want to relax i'm excited to just chill out this weekend if you are as well destroy the comment section with bring on the weekend and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one